Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> I used to love watching Martin. And well, no, that was um that was that was uh what's the name of that joint? In Living Color, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, um you don't have to listen to your trainer. Who knows your body better than you? So the last however many years, 20 years or whatever. Well, I was an athlete. The only reason why athletes are in better shape than us is because they have people to think for them. They have people to cook for them. They have people to train for them. All you have to do is suck it up for a little time before you get to college to become an athlete. That's not a long time. Think about how quickly 18 years went by. So if you could do 18 years again, you know you train your butt off to be an athlete because you know exactly what to do if you like to work out. And even then, you got YouTube and all this stuff now. Like Learning how to train and be better than the next man is a lot harder but also easier than it ever has been. And it's only going to get better and better and easier and easier and quicker and quicker and supplements and supplements. So, and they're only, and then they're only going to make a steroid league and then they're going to make a natural league in due time. It's going to be straight entertainment 365 all the time. Watching it on your phone, watch it on your TV, watch it. It's going to really be on some keep these people stupid type thing. So, and they're going to get paid tons of freaking money. So it's going to be sports athletes and you're going to have like close people that are celebrities you're gonna have close celebrities so like local celebrities and you're gonna have it's gonna be it's gonna be they're gonna be making movies for like for you it's gonna be so easy so accessible to, like you're gonna be thinking of a movie and somebody that you know you could fill them in on the movie like you know what i'm saying to say your name or look like you or whatever you could play all the characters in the movie because of ai and all that stuff that's coming out and you're going to make people who millionaires and billionaires because of this and trillionaires because of this, like very, very soon. It's crazy to like think of. I didn't see it before I went to the Navy, but now I get it. And if you watch Black Mirror, you kind of understand. But I see the way things are going, bro. I have deja vu all day. I, I can tell you exactly. Like I've been saying this stuff for years, like what's going to happen. And that's why I was so focused on like basketball, because I was like, I can run the world. I know exactly what to do, like from just a sport and having a good body and a face and a nice teeth. And all. I was just like, y'all, I could rule the world, but just of sphere. And I didn't do it because, you know, anyway. But I know that I still have the body and I still am like, a, I feel like I've done this a couple of times, honestly. Like I've, exp I've lived this, lived life, this experience or whatever. If this is called life, is, if this is called the world, if this is called the game or whatever, I feel like I've done it a couple of times. And like, I can call out things. I say things and people say it on the TV or whatever I'm watching I say it. And like, I can call things out years ahead. And it's just like, let me go ahead and listen to myself. I could tell people how to live life and how to make their life up, become a billionaire, but I can't do it for myself. So I know that this is just a fucking game because I know the tools, I know the rules, I know everything, but I just can't do it for myself. And it's like every time I get right there, it's, it just snatches something, something snatches it away from me. So I feel like the only way that I can make it through this is if I share it with other people. If I share, like, my story with other people, if I share, like, the thoughts with other people, like, my happiness and things like that, like, I leave little context clues, like Jay-Z did, and his music and his messages, but this is, like, streaming all day, every day, so, like, you'll, I could leave, like, Easter egg hunt, Easter eggs in this, it's, just, ah, maybe I'm doing it right now, you never know, anyway. I'm telling you, I'm on to something. I'm on to some huge things. And I like just want to, like I said, build my community and do some different things. Like I, I want everybody to like have their own little community that they build off of my community. You know what I mean? Like you can learn how to do, we just but keep amongst each other, like how to to become better citizens in, to, in the world or whatever this is. Like you never, like I've had friends from for damn near 20 years, no, 12 years that I've never met just because of social media. We talk every day. 
They were with me while I was on the ship going through the most depressing shit in my life. They were there. And I've never met them, ever. I've gotten close. I've gotten like an hour away from them. I've gotten like, maybe I've walked by them. But never had a conversation with them. That is weird, but cool as at the same time. And I wish I would have noticed it a long time ago when I was being told about it. And I just was like, man, that's stupid. Because I want to listen to my parents. <laughs> but now that I know, you follow your passions. And you, sometimes you just have things that are meant to be for you. And, like, you can't fight them. If you fight them, you're just going to get lashed. You're just going to get beat. You're just going to get, like, life is going to punish you until you do what it wants you to do. Because this is not a game. And somebody, it's either God or you controlling it or somebody else is controlling it. But God or whoever it is has a personality. And it's great. And that's a beautiful thing. Because you know what? You're right. I was not ready for all that money. I was not ready for all that attention. I was not. But you gave me the body, the shell. You gave me the vehicle. You gave me the everything. You knew what you were doing. But... But I questioned you. I didn't believe in you. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to face adversity. And the reward was way in, it was, it was deep down in there, but I saw it and I was, and I stopped digging. Just like that old meme where the guy has the, the, the axe and he gives up. But the other guy is hacking and he's at the, he's so far away from the diamond, but the other dude was one chip away. That was me. That was me. You know, so many times and like, I'm just going to follow through on this one because I love this. And it's kind of desperation. Like whoever it is knows that desperation will make me have to do things. So it's not desperation, but like, I feel like it's desperation because I don't want to be too far behind. Like, I feel like I'm way behind as it is. And like, it's my journey. I need to put some put the aftershave on. But I just wanted to get this out to you guys. I want to, I know it's my journey, but like. I want to go through struggle by showing you guys it. Like, this is all just like the beginning of me, like, being smart. You never remember when you were dumb. Like, you know what I mean? You don't remember what you don't remember or what you don't know. So, like, I'm thinking about that and I'm like, wow. So, I'm running away from it and I'm getting as smart as I can, as in shape as I can. And I'm going hard as hell at everything I'm doing. So, I'm only biting off little things at a time. But I know that my ADHD or whatever it is, PTSD or whatever the fuck I have, I'm not ever going to title myself. I'm not titling myself. Whatever it is, it's there. We'll work through it because I have the brain power to acknowledge that there's something there and I have to change it. That's just what, at least I'm capable of doing that. I don't know how many people are able to do that, but I am. So I'm going to make it happen. And please stay tuned. Roll with me. You know I love you.